Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a USB to serial adapter on a Linux machine so that we can connect to our Kubro Packet Master series network packet brokers. Now, I'm going to be using a USB to serial adapter that's branded QVS, but in reality, almost all of the USB to serial adapters you're going to encounter use the same chip, and that chip is manufactured by Prolific. So on other systems, if we need to get our drivers, we're likely going to be looking for a Prolific driver. And on Linux, we don't actually need any driver, but you're going to see the name Prolific show up in the terminal when I start to issue these commands. Let's go ahead and open up a terminal window. I'm going to make this window just a bit larger. And the first command we're going to type is going to be lsusb. And this is going to list all of our USB devices because we're going to want to find out if our USB to serial adapter is even detected by the system. And it is. We can see right here that I have my prolific technology USB to serial adapter listed right here. So now we need to attach this USB to serial adapter to a actual serial um, port on our, on our Linux system. And to do this, we're going to issue the sudo command because we're going to need administrator or root privileges to accomplish this. And then we're going to type modprobe USB serial. And then the next thing we're going to type is vendor equals 0x. And we're going to grab this set of numbers here on the, in the first half of this value separated by the colon for this adapter. Just copy that. And paste it right in here and then next type product equals 0x and grab the second half of that value and paste that right there go ahead and enter provide your password when prompted and we're all set so now we need to check if the system is actually recognizing that our USB to serial adapter is ready to go and to do that, we're going to use the dmessage command. Now we can pipe dmessage into grep and search specifically for this PL2303 so that we can deal with a little bit less output from this command. And we're going to see right here that we have registered new interface driver PL2303. Right here is USB serial, USB serial support registered for PL2303, converter detected, and the converter is now attached to TTY USB 0. This is all great stuff. This is showing that the kernel recognizes that our USB adapter is connected to the serial port TTY USB 0. And this is going to be important because this is going to be the interface that we're going to use when we use uh, utilities like Minicom or Screen to actually do our serial connection. If you want to see what this output would look like without piping it through grep, which you can get the same information, we're just going to be dealing with a whole lot of extra junk here. But you can see down here at the bottom, we have the same information. All right, so the final step here is just to check that we have our connectivity. So let's do screen forward slash dev forward slash TTY USB zero and then 115 200. And if you don't quite follow exactly what I'm doing in this command, don't worry about it. I'm going to cover actually using these utilities to connect to the packet master in another video. Right now, we just want to see that we actually can connect. And apparently, we cannot. OK. Using the sudo command to give me the extra root privileges there brings me into the console prompt so that now we actually have our connection to our packet broker over our serial connection. So that's it for this video. Like I said, I'll cover more detail into actually making these connections to the packet broker in another video. But for now, thanks for watching and take care, everyone.